At 7.58 Indonesian Western Time, the Earth shows its most deadly face. An undersea earthquake with an epicenter only 160 kilometers west off the Sumatran coast and a moment magnitude that exceeded 9.0 produced the worst tsunami ever in recorded history. Never before, the Earth shakes as long as it does on December 26, 2004. Over 10 minutes, the ocean bed trembles, triggering a series of devastating tsunami waves, some as high as 30 meters and more. As they hit the shores of most regions bordering the Indian Ocean, over 230,000 people lose their lives, millions their homes. All coastal areas are potential tsunami areas. Although the Boxing Day tsunami or the 2011 Miyagi tsunami were a result of the most powerful earthquake since modern record keeping, try to imagine what could happen if a tsunami hits Los Angeles, Tokyo, or another major city. Recently, Dyneema, the world's strongest fiber, tested a revolutionary new concept together with the Delft University of Technology and Deltaires. Protection with dikes and walls is possible, but they consume a large coastal area, and furthermore, 20 or 30 meter high dikes and walls are huge visual obstructions. The Dyneema Membrane Tsunami Flood Barrier concept is a flooding protection device stored almost invisible if not needed, but deploys automatically at the onset of flooding. The tests at Deltaires, an independent institute for applied research in the field of water, subsurface and infrastructure, shows that the flood barrier deploys well. See what happens if a scaled down 20 meter high tsunami hits a beach or harbor area protected by Dyneema. The membrane and floater are stored in a gutter below the surface. As the tsunami hits the beach, the barrier deploys automatically due to buoyancy of the floater and hydrodynamic forces. Stopping a 20 meter high tsunami requires extremely strong membranes, but no more than a one centimeter thick Dyneema membrane can do the job. DSM Dyneema calculated the curvature and the stress in the membrane using a mechanical model. By comparing the outcome with the known tensile strength of Dyneema fabrics and adopting a 2.5 safety factor, they discovered that no more than a one centimeter thick Dyneema membrane can stop a 20 meter high tsunami. Even if the tsunami is larger than the design case of the barrier, only temporary spill of water occurs. The bulk of the flood is still stopped by the membrane and kept in place by cables that are made from Dyneema as well. Consequently, Dyneema shows it can potentially be of life-saving importance as it effectively protects humans and their capital against tsunamis and other kinds of flooding. If you are inspired by this concept and want to take it further, please contact us. Visit Dyneema.com for more Dyneema solutions.